Everything about this feels frightening, and that is partly because of my sort of ignorance, but also partly because it's terrifying. I'm more anxious than I've been in a long time. Have you seen the chickens? Where, where, where? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why are there chickens here? Did you, this is part of the ceremony. Wow. I know, I know, I know. But what is he going to do with them? I don't know. I'm not a voodoo priest. But, so. are they, yeah, but are they going to come to harm, is what I'm asking? Probably. I am a vegan. You... It would be offensive to me if he started making an omelette, let alone killed those chickens. I, I came here for, for two transitions. Oh, my God. Was that supposed to happen? No, I think it's the, his, uh, the generator. The generator. Great. If I can't get the generator working, we can reschedule. Everything about it felt frightening. I don't understand the language, obviously, but I believe that somebody said to someone, Romesh doesn't look like he's shitting himself enough. Could you pull up a car and switch the headlights on so he properly shits his liver out through his arsehole? So we've got full beam headlights on us, like they're preparing for me to be abducted. Look, he's set up all the ingredients. It's all there. They've put a symbol down on the floor in the powder, the go-away powder, which a mouse came over to. Completely ineffective, that powder. I must speak to Reggie about that. We then start the ceremony. They bring the two chickens over to me, and I assume that chicken's dead. Jeremy spoke to me, said, no, we're going to liberate the chickens at the end. So I was like, fine, great. Actually, if I don't lose my anxiety from this, at least two chickens are freed as a result of me doing this. The singers are going, the drums are going. I'm sitting there on this wooden chair, shitting myself. So I had to hold the chickens up here, then turn to the right, then hold the chickens up there, then turn to the left. What essentially he was asking me to do was some sort of chicken macarena while he held the can of deodorant. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the thing. It's just because I've never said the sentence I was holding two chickens in here a can of deodorant. It's just strange. Anyway, he poured each of the different liquids, the shower gel, the cologne, the deodorant, and he lit them. I had no idea that good luck shower gel was that flammable. Uh, why would you put that on your body? I'm getting anxious because I'm thinking, where is this going to end? And he goes, now we're going to go over to this little house over there. And I think, oh my god, what's going to happen at the little house? He pulls back a curtain, behind which is a coffin. In my head, I'm visualising him opening the coffin and going, now you get in this for 12 hours. Anyway, what he wanted was a tip. So I was happy to give that to him. Took the cash out, put it on top of the coffin, gave him a five-star rating and left.